Hi, it's Mary Wagstaff. I want to personally invite you to spend one hour with me, one-on-one, because you deserve to know what's holding you back. It is your time. Alcohol has had its fair share. We're going to talk about possibilities, about how to align your thoughts and actions with your dreams and what matters most to you, about why alcohol is no longer suited for the life you want to live, how you can get on the fast track to freedom from alcohol and stay there without deprivation. Follow the link in the show notes or on my website, marywagstaffcoach.com to schedule your complimentary call. This hour is just for you. Welcome, welcome. My name is Mary Wagstaff. I am a life coach who ended a 20-year relationship with alcohol without labels, counting days, or ever making excuses. In this podcast, we will explore my revolutionary approach to quitting alcohol that breaks all the rules, amazing stories from women who are throwing a better party because of it, and how you can stop drinking and start living. This show is not a substitute for rehabilitation, medical treatment, or advice, so please talk to a health professional if your alcohol consumption is a risk to your mental or physical health. Now on with the show. Hello, my beautiful listeners. It is day 258 of quarantine, and we are looking no further than the full moon of this wonderful, beautiful pink super moon happening here tomorrow on April 7th, 2020. And I am so excited to bring you this guided meditation to tap into the power of what I really feel like when we stand and bathe under the full moon or when we tune in to the energetics of the full moon, it's this opportunity to align and awaken the coding of our DNA. So as you may have known if you've been following me and listening to me by releasing this bonus series of these moon medicine meditations. I have kind of outed myself as a priestess, as a witch, as a sorceress, um, which all of this is part of my my offering, my gift, my magic. Um, Ever since I was a really little girl, I've tuned into spiritual connection as the way for me to understand the nature of reality. There is too much that is perfect that I do not believe it is pure coincidence that the earth, our great mother below us, has literally provided us with the abundance of everything that we need and more to survive on this planet. And when it comes to coaching is really the work of um, Deepak Chopra just released a book called MetaHuman. It is really the work of the beyond, of the human potential, of what's possible, of what is consciousness. And this is something that I have really explored my entire life. It's always been fascinating to me. For some people, I think it's um, a little too existential and gives them some anxiety. For me, it really solidifies my sense of purpose that in this earth walk, in this embodied experience, is just a container for consciousness and that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So my energy, no matter what in the conscious form, will still be existing. And the DNA of the coding of a cell is so intricate and in how it aligns and um, is supported by the earth and the sun and the water and the plants. And they all work together together. The magic and the mystery of it to me is so comforting and so fulfilling that there is no proof that I need. You know, science can only test so much, but when we have faith, it is deep in our connecting us to our the truth of our intuition. 
I had a woman that I was doing some work with this weekend say that truth is innate and knowledge is acquired. And I think that this is the distinction of controlling the mind and controlling the thoughts. And I believe as humans, no one stands out under the moonlight and takes in her beauty and feel, feels that glowing essence over them and feels nothing, feels completely disconnected or void. And there might be people that feel that. And I think that that's probably people that may have um, some other issues potentially happening in the mind where there's just a complete disconnect or void from the natural world. Um, and that's something separate. So I'm not saying that this is completely universal because as we know, no two human beings are created alike. Um, but for the very first time, and I can't believe I've never done this and I may have as a little girl, but I just don't remember. I looked through a telescope last night at the moon and we're out in the country so we can see so much clearer. And it was, I almost felt like I was I don't know, invading a privacy or something. I saw the full um, solar eclipse in 2017 and I felt that same way looking at the almost full moon last night. Um, and we'll look at it tonight and tomorrow night as well, hopefully. Um, but I was kind of breath take like breathless for a moment and I was it was like kind of nerve wracking and scary and it was amazing and just to be kind of more up close and personal with this unique moon that we have then we always get that same view and so anyway what I would invite you to do for this meditation is to really breathe into and allow whatever is present for you but to see if you can let the glowing of the full moon really bring into light your truth, that innate knowing that's outside of the stories of fear and scarcity and lack. And what is true? What is true on a deep level beyond this earth walk? What is true in this moment now? that you can really lean into, that you have the power inside of you. So the full moon to me is about re re recognizing the fullness of the potential that you are, reclaiming the coding of your DNA, and understanding more fully your innate capacity for resilience and for survival, and to know the cycles of life, death, and rebirth are part of change and part of nature. And we have moved so far away from the nature of who we are. We are just scrambling and pulling all the time from a fear based of a potential predictable future, which we know now is just not true. It's not something we can hold on to. So what can you hold on to that gives you comfort, that gives you solace, that gives you your sense of purpose to breathe into and be more of who you are uniquely? And I think that the moon is a beautiful reminder of that. So enjoy this full moon meditation. And if you have any questions or need any support, I am here for you. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day. Welcome to the full moon. The body has been cleansed with water. Your intentions have been exclaimed into the wind and carried away to manifest. And now you are here under the light of the full moon embodied into the earth energy. As you sit comfortably, the eyes become soft. Take a moment to notice the connection of the hands to the legs, to the lap. Really feel into your body for a moment. Notice the sensations as you soften the breath. Moving from the toes up through the feet, the ankles, the legs, the knees, 
the hips into the womb space, into the torso, the ribs, the spine, the heart, the lungs, the throat, the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the face, the hair and the neck. Noticing sensation and allow the breath to slowly move down, down, down into the womb, into that place as women where we create and give birth to life, that dark cave from which we are born. the power to ignite our intentions living inside of this place. And then slowly allow your left hand to come onto that place underneath the belly button, and then your right hand to come on top of that, and then the thumbs meet. And then allow your breath to fill that space of your womb into your hands. And as your attention starts to fill into the space as you breathe deeply, noticing the swirling of the blood that lives inside here, this deep earthly cavern and as you dive down into the space of the womb you find yourself at dusk that blue black hour you're in a beautiful beautiful orchard of apples, these trees that have been here for decades, hundreds of years, centuries, they twist and turn and they're full of moss. Some of them have fallen over. There's apples that lay strewn all over this beautiful orchard. And then as you look up and out into the distance, you see the full moon starting to rise. And with this full moon, you notice that the body starts to become alive even more. And you look down to see your feet as they start to sway from side to side. And just before you trip over it, you notice a small branch and one small apple that is inviting you to pick it up. And you know that this is a gift from the moonlight. The moonlight has shown her beautiful light to bring these two gifts into view for you. And you hold this beautiful branch of one of the apple trees and a beautiful gift from the orchard in either hand. And you lift your arms up above your head and you sway in the moonlight. And just like you're directing an orchestra, you use this beautiful branch to guide your movement and you lift this apple to be infused in the full moonlight, now embodied your intention full of energy and vitality to take action, to bring it into the world. And you swivel your hips and you bend your knees and you feel the earth under your feet and you allow your chest and your heart to move up and back allowing your spine to move like a snake. The branches of the trees and the shoulders start to circle and sway. 
And the fingers reach up and back, swimming in space, and you are feeling fully embodied and alive and full of life. This full moon is now radiating inside of you, this moon bath as you move around in circles so that the moon energy can penetrate the front, the back, and the sides of all of you, your hair glowing in this moonlight, wild and free. And you check in that you're breathing and your breath is deepening and you bend into your knees and down into your hips and you get a little closer to the ground now and you slowly start to take your movement down into this grassy orchard and you come down onto your knees in reverence to the earth and to the moon and you face the moon and you allow your branch to rest at your knees and you lift your apple one more time into the moonlight as your right hand places down into the earth and your left hand extends to the moonlight with your apple you connect as a portal from the celestial bodies of the moonlit heaven through your apple through your left arm into your heart reflecting that energy back into the body the mother the earth the stability and this celestial knowing opening of the spirit realms of the dimension of your intuition your consciousness is just as stable as the earth below you and you are invited to now bring two hands to this apple and you gaze at her knowing that inside of this apple is the wisdom and the truth your deep truth that you are ready to open inside of you and you take a smell of this apple first and then you take a nice big bite of this apple you hear the crunch and that first juicy bite just fills your mouth with delight with sensation of the sweetness of truth the freedom of truth and you chew this apple and you swallow it, allowing the inner knowing to come alive inside of you. The truth of your sovereign nature and your power as divine feminine and sacred masculine, the union as one to create and birth your truth, your dreams, your intention into the world. And you slowly watch as this bite of apple travels down into your throat, down into your digestive tract and your organs, and settles down into the womb space. And the apple starts to break up, releasing its beautiful, potent, magical energies of moon light and earth energy deep inside of you creating balance stability so that you can now see that any blocks any fear any scarcity any shame has been completely overrode by the truth and knowledge that you have always been and always will be whole and holy and the beauty of the truth of the moonlight and her flowing, glowing grace shines now in the space where you create life in the womb. And from the earth's deep, deep, potent ability to create and birth life lives now inside of you breathing into the space for as long as it feels comfortable and seeing what comes forth what are you ready to speak the truth of from your womb space taking your time and then slowly coming back to your body when you're ready
The process of unraveling your story outside of the confines of alcohol is truly a sacred and beautiful journey of the self. Rediscover who you are and a whole new world again. Stop by my website, Mary Wagstaff Coach. Dot com to get instant access to the on-demand workshop of my revolutionary five shifts approach. And while you're there, you can sign up for a one-on-one -on -one consultation where we will create together your life intention. This is the framework for which all of your decisions around alcohol are made from your truest and highest self. In addition to working remotely worldwide, I host private one-on-one -on -one healing retreats at my sanctuary in Mount Hood, Oregon can't wait to connect.